So if you're watching this video, I assume that you've already seen a lot of the out of the box web publishing options that you have on Notion pages. Now for me, I haven't really considered these to be an option for my own personal site in the past because the quality of the output is so much less high quality than you can build with website builders like Wix or Squarespace or WordPress. Then a few weeks ago, I heard about Super, which lets you use your Notion page as a CMS and edit the content on your professional looking website from Notion. Now this is a good value prop for me, given that I run so much of my life on Notion already. But as always, I had my concerns. In this video, I'm going to share what I found over this past weekend as I built my own site using Super, and then you can decide for yourself whether it makes sense for you. Hey everyone, if you're new around here, my name is Ian, and I'm on a mission to build a successful YouTube channel in the next six months. If you like this topic and you geek out as much on Notion stuff as I do, make sure you subscribe so you see my future experiments and learnings and everything else I share about Notion. Without further ado, let's get into it. So there are three main questions that I cared about when trying Super for the first time. First, outcome. Will the site be as good as other website builders that I'm used to? Secondly, cost. How much will the super site cost on a recurring basis? Thirdly, usability. Will it be a pain to set up and maintain? I'm going to go through each of these questions in turn. So you get a sense for how all of this works. Let me show you the Notion page that this site is based off of here. And then here is the final result. I'll go through some of the specs here. Firstly, custom layouts and fonts. Here I use my brand colors and my fonts and everything looks good. Poppins is the name of my dog, so of course we use that font. Secondly, it supports your custom domain. So I bought my domain with Namecheap and it was easy enough to connect. One great thing about the site is it looks awesome on mobile just like it does on the web. Here, let me show you the different types of block supported. We have tables, embedded videos, headers, and subtitles. It also includes embedded typeform surveys. So this looks pretty good. Lastly, Super also comes with SEO customization. I have not fully built this out yet myself or found my own page in search yet, but I'm assuming given that they have these settings that it does work if you invest the time to set that up properly. I only did it last weekend, so I haven't properly seen my results in search yet, but I would imagine that this indexing also takes a little bit of time. Okay, and now for the second question, how much does it cost to run your Super site on a recurring basis? So before this, I ran my site on WordPress with Elementor as the site builder. The costs were as follows. We had the Namecheap domain for $8.16 per year. We had the EasyWP hosting for $6.88 per month. We had the Elementor site builder for $4 per month, billed yearly on a 49 per year basis. And in total, this comes to $11.64 per month for the WordPress site. Before this, I used Wix as my site builder in university. For the Wix domain, it was $20 per year, which comes to about $1.70 per month. For the hosting, it was $11.90 per month, which amounts to a total of $13.60 per month. And finally, let me compare this with Super. For Super, it costs $16 for the personal plan. And for the domain, I'd already purchased it with Namecheap. So to set up this external domain was less than a dollar per month. In total, this brings us to 16 bucks a month, which is more than the other alternatives I've had in the past, but it also comes with these benefits in terms of ease of use. Now, I think I should also mention that I'm paying for additional services that are not strictly website hosting that also supercharge my site. This includes MailChimp for email marketing and Typeform for surveys that are embedded on the site. I don't see these as necessary, but they do bring the total cost of my website to $54 per month. And lastly, for the third question, how difficult is it to set up and maintain your super site? Generally, I found it super easy to set up my site given what I already knew about Notion. This being said, there were a few hiccups along the way. One little difficulty was figuring out how the styling of my template actually was reflected in production on the live site. For example, every one of my pages has a next and a previous page clicker, but sometimes the formatting gets messed up. And so you need to be careful and check the documentation so that you know that you can set it up correctly and that appears properly on your final site. Secondly, it was a little tricky to set up my custom domain from Namecheap in Super. Basically, it required me to input some fields that I got from Super in my name cheap DNS settings or something like this. And so that was another thing to keep an eye on. I ultimately figured it out in a few minutes, but I had to read the documentation that Super provides. Lastly, connecting the Notion page to the Super site was pretty straightforward, but it did require me to change the publishing settings in Notion. So I'll just point you now to where you need to click if you want to change that setting yourself. So before Super, I felt like it was such a hassle to go into Wix or WordPress or Squarespace and change my site. Super changed the game in that regard because now I can just jump into Notion and make the change and it's easy to do. And I actually think this is changed my approach to the website because now it can be this place that's dynamic and changing and I can do a live status report of my projects and what I'm building and shipping on a weekly basis rather than this static thing that I go into and change once every three or four months. I see this as differentiated value that you could have with your blog and I think it's perfect for other dynamic and scrappy teams who are looking to get something up to deliver it fast and to iterate on it quickly. If you have any questions about this topic or others that I've talked about in this video, please let me know at the link in the description below and I'll make sure I get back to you within the next 24 hours. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck with that site and I'll see you in the next video.